Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. Welcome back to channel. Today's video is all about the standard B. This is the tier nine Euro medium. Uh, it's the Italian line that ends in the Progetto. And it's a tank, and you're gonna find this kind of crazy. I'd never driven this tank before. And that's wild for me because I have driven the Progetto. But I forgot that I got the Progetto before it was released. In fact, after grinding through this tank and getting to the Progetto, the Progetto was fully equipped with all the uh, all the bells and whistles and had experience on it. But I forgot that I'd got there without actually grinding the line. So it was interesting to me to give this tank a run out. I had heard so much about the Standard B and, and how it was great. And I really wanted it to be good, but I, I looked at it on paper and I was just like, is it going to be any good? It doesn't look that special. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. As a man who has long been a huge proponent of the Centurion 7 on 1, it was a big call, but not the biggest of calls, to say that I think the standard B is actually the best tier 9 tech tree medium in the game. And in fact, I think it could even be better than the AMX Premier Proto, which for me would be the other tier 9 medium that absolutely hammers. And it was tough too, because one of the things I've struggled with since coming back to the game and playing a lot, like instead of just playing once or twice every few weeks, I've been playing hours every day and my, my muscle memory's getting there and my new control layout's really working well and I'm starting to read the minimap better and... and one of the things I've really struggled with, though, has been Tier 9 Meds. Because Tier 10 has become such an armored behemoth. Thanks like the Type 71, the Krantwagen. Um, you know, your IS-7s, your IS-4s. All these really big super conquerors, super strong armor profiles. And extraordinarily large amounts of pen. Not to mention the T-22 mediums and tanks like that, which you can test with, have made a lot of these tanks superfluous. And they're not quite as good as they used to be. And I thought that not only was T9 Mediums kind of a graveyard for me and that I wouldn't be running it a lot, that the standard B wouldn't change my mind. And I was wrong. I was really wrong. This is the stats from my first 32 games. And they've gone down a touch now, but they're still pretty bloody good. That was over 70% win rate. Uh, over 2,500 damage per game. And that was an awful lot of tier 10. This first game I'm going to show you here is a tier 9 matchup. They're going to show you a couple of tier 10 games after that. The thing about this tank is it scales with skill and focus. If you're an average player, and I mean that in the kindest sense of the word, if you're a player that doesn't really know the map and the meta and particularly the tanks you're playing against, then you're going to, you know, you're going to struggle. If you, however, are someone that likes to focus the game and likes to conserve your hit point pool and set up big dumps of damage, you are going to shred in this thing. I found it interesting that even in tier 10 games where I was doing 4.5k, I wasn't getting masteries in this. I mean, I got one first class. I think this game was a first class, maybe? And everything else was like... Um, third class and second class for 4k plus in a tier 10 game in a tier 9 tank and that just goes to show I think it illustrates just how effective the standard B is what's great about it is the gun the gun has that wonderful mechanic where if you fire one shell it then has a 3 second shell intraclip intra reload and then you can fire another and another but if you do that you pay the penalty of having an enormous cooldown between shells. The first shell takes 5.8 seconds to reload. The second shell takes 7.5 seconds to reload. And the third shell takes 8.4 seconds to reload. So you're looking at 22 seconds of reload time if you dump all three, which is a very, very long time to be without damage. However, because the gun is so good like it's quite accurate uh 0.319 dispersion is you know where you're at with this thing 
and you've got 240 millimeters of AP pen and heat that goes up to 290 millimeters of penetration, in fact, 295, I believe, you can get some crazy dumps going on. And because the shell clip, intro clip is only three seconds, if you play with mobility like I am here, like I've gone to the flank, I'm gonna go all the way back around to the middle of the heavy line, and then I'm gonna scoot right back out to the flank and clear that FV4202. Tier 10 game, using map awareness and the speed, it's got a 58 kilometer an hour top speed. It's got superb terrain resistance stats of 0 0.8, 1 and 1.4. And the lower those numbers are, the better your coefficient is. So the lower the multiplier, like this thing floats across the ground. It's not like a leopard. It's not that quick, but it's not far off it. Uh, thanks for the ammo rack. You're going to take damage every time you get looked at, right? So you've really got to work on finding situations where you can dump damage like that and be super effective. And then when you rotate, and it becomes like a great habit to have, when you rotate out of that situation, back to another position to put your gun into the game, you've got a full reload done and you can dump again. And every time you dump, it's and you hit all your shells, it's 1,050 damage. And then you get the coup de gras, which is you have HE that's like Hesh. It's like cheap Povo Hesh. 105 millimeters of HE penetration. And that HE shell has a 400 alpha hit. Now that's not as big a HE shell as say a Centurion 7 and 1 who gets a 440 alpha Hesh round from its 350 alpha gun. But it's a boost. It's a nice DPM boost. And using it means you quite often will get opportunities like this. Uh, on the back end of big ass E4s, we can just do masses of damage. I found it to just be a dream to drive. And the playstyle is wonderful. It's a lot like playing a Leo. And it's a tank I think you should drive and you should get through and you should play properly because it will make you a better World of Tanks Blitz player to play like this. I think this is the first class. Yeah, that's the first class we got. We only got one of them, despite having multiple 4K plus T10 games. This thing is just crazy. Like you're doing 1500 plus XP and you're getting a first class in a T9 medium, 1542. That is, that is a really, really strong field to be competing against. Um, I'll show you this game here on Lagoon, and we'll talk a little bit more uh, about that playstyle. So you're going to get hit every time you push out. There's just no way around that. And this is me learning about, uh, oh, that's a spot there. Because Lagoon for me is still very much a new map. Um, and I've used that spot a few times, so thanks to Vickers for showing me that little, lovely little spot. You're going to get hit every time you come out. But what it does very well, if you're smart, and you are patient is it can clear low hit point tanks say a tank is on extraordinarily low hit points sub 300 you can get out and shoot them even if they're a tier 10 tank you can hit the tank and you can miss one and still have an opportunity to get a second shot in because your clip re reload is only three seconds you can dump all three in six seconds but you can eat a shot from, say, an IS-7, go around the back and put one into him, miss it, and dump another one very, very comfortably and clear a tank. And that becomes invaluable as you get late game. And the standard B is very, very good, like a lot of these auto loaders at cleanup. You can see I'm very map aware here. I see that Vickers is coming through. I want people to get involved with him. I know the grill doesn't want to get stuck with him. So I get over here and help my buddy out. And you're going to see just how effective this tank is when you go moment to moment. So you'll clean people up and then you'll move around and get another position. And while you're doing that, you get through your full reload. And that's, that's really important that you're patient with it. Because if you're not patient with the standard B, as we reset our camo. If you're not patient with the standard B and you abuse that reserve shell mechanic, you'll really hamstring your DPM. 
keeping that second shell and that third shell rolling through all the time is so important. If you're behind a tank and you've got clear shots, sometimes it's better just to take one and let it reload and then take another and let it reload. We switch to that HE. It's 411 with a fire. I don't mind dumping there because by the time I get to the next tank, I'm going to be reloaded. You can see on the minimap that most of the action's up in that northwest corner. So we're rolling all the way back there and we're going to be reloaded. We've only taken that one hit so far. Oh, but we've taken another one there. That's a big donk. You really do need to hold on to your hit points in this tank. It's absolutely critical that you hold on to hit points in this tank. And we've seen an opportunity there. Our heavy's doing great work holding. He's got three tanks on him. And we're just going to go down here. And this is what I'm talking about. We're going to dump. And we're going to clear tanks. We're absolutely going to dump and clear tanks. It's what you're built for. Unfortunately, uh, we both shot the same target there. Fair enough. Take a big deep breath. Hold on. Let it reload. Let it come back up. You can see he's just going to tap him out. And this is probably not the right way to do it. I should have held there. For just a second, we go to HE though. Love the HE on this thing. 105 millimeters of HE pen. It was a big surprise to me that you didn't keep that through when you moved on up to the uh, Ahoy Bushka. G'day, buddy. Good to see you. When you move on up to the Progetto. There we go. And that's a five kill 4K game. <laughs> I think it's four. It's just about 4K at tier 10. Um, and I don't think that's even going to be a first class. No, it's another first. Good stuff. As long as you get that reserve mechanic working properly, you'll be killing it in this thing. Uh, and as long as you treat it like... You're a, you're a scavenger, okay? You don't want to be frontlining. You don't want to be brawling. You don't want to be going up and trading because... You will end up trading with tier 8 tanks that don't have great DPM like Chimeras or, you know, Type 59s or anything. And you'll get hit every time. And because you don't have great DPM, like you can dump on them, but it you'll, you'll be in situations where you'll dump them. Great, you've done a thousand damage to a Type 59 in six seconds. And that's it. Then you've got to wait eight seconds and you're suddenly doing worse DPM than a Type 69 and he's chewing through your hit point pool and it's like the first engagement of the game at the top of minds and you're like, oh God, this was a mistake and you're wasting like a thoroughbred racehorse on really crappy engagements. You've got to keep putting it in positions where it can just dump, okay? And you've got to be patient. This isn't a great game. This is a two and a half K game on Himmelsdorf but it's a tier 10 matchup and... I want you to just watch this and see how patient I am with it. Like, you can't force this tank. You are going to play tier 10 tanks. And I think the fact that it is so prone to exploding. Uh, I mean, I used to do a video series called How Not to Explode. And I think playing this tank will make you better across all your other mediums, your tier 9 mediums. Because you just have to accept that at tier 9... There are not a lot of mediums that can realistically bounce shots off tier 10 tanks. And because of the, the way the matchmaker works, you're going to see a lot of tier 10 tanks. It's just the way it is. Um, I, I mean, tier 10 is the most popular tier. And it just becomes such a difficult thing when you're running into T22 mediums and... And T62As and, you know, TVPs. And you've only got a very... I mean, you've got a reasonable hit point pool for a tier 9 medium, but it's it's not 2K. And you need 2K plus to start functioning aggressively in tier 10 with some of these tanks. I mean, you've got heavies now, multiple heavies that do such big numbers. And you'll see we're just being so patient here because without hit points at the end of the game, this tank is just not effective. Without hit points at the end of the game, this tank can really be negated. And 
have to play conservatively and you need to be able to play a little bit more what's the word flamboyantly as the game progresses so you're going to make tanks pay you've also got to remember like this is an auto loader uh, well it's a auto reloader you need to be clipping out you need to be hitting those tracks you need to make sure that and this is the the point i was making earlier we would have had two shots at that wz and that's pretty impressive for a, a tank that's a, a t9 medium made of tissue paper and good intentions to be able to clear a t10 heavy like that and do it without really like we could have missed one and we still would have been able to clear that tank i mean t10 medium look at it float i mean it's doing 58 and it's doing it easy it's a really smooth tank to drive i think you should get this tank i think you should be driving this tank I feel like it's stronger for its tier than the Progetto is for its tier. And the Progetto is a good tank, but this thing works and it doesn't really matter what tier you're at. Here we go. We're going to let that reload. Oh, hello. Watch out. And we're able to really work this because the TVP is such a menace. But we've got enough hit points we've saved enough hit points that we can take shots from these t10 tanks and despite not doing the most damage in this game just holding and being careful is such a huge part of winning i'm bushka thank you so much for watching hope you're enjoying the vids um lots more to come look after yourselves and uh stay safe on the battlefield don't forget to like and subscribe etc 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 bye for now